When it comes to the most dangerous dinosaurs, everyone immediately thinks of the formidable theropods like Tyrannosaurus or Allosaurus. But, as now, the arms race between predatory and herbivorous animals moved in two directions. Predators developed big teeth and claws to attack, while plant-poor lizards became impenetrable armor and developed defenses against the onslaught of toothy foes. In doing so, some became equally dangerous opponents and could inflict very serious injuries while defending their lives. Despite the apparent harmlessness, many herbivorous animals have a very difficult character. In combination with a large mass, the presence of horns or fangs, such an animal can create serious problems for a predator caught on it. Not for nothing among some African tribes, the most dangerous animal in the savanna is considered not a lion or even a crocodile, but a buffalo. Also, few predators risk messing with adult elephants, rhinoceros, and hippos. Also, in the time of the dinosaurs, some large herbivores could fight back against any bloodthirsty monster. Stegosaurus Dinosaurs The dinosaurs of this family are among the first fossilized lizards known to science from the Jurassic period. They lived throughout Eurasia, as well as in North America. It was the North American species that was discovered in 1877 by paleontologist Charles Marshall in Colorado. This dinosaur subsequently became the symbol of the state. But the first researchers of the remains found thought they had stumbled upon the skeleton of an extinct giant tortoise. The Stegosaurus's famous backs and plates were mistaken for parts of the carapace for 10 years. The remains of several other animals were found in the area. Marshall's final idea of the appearance of this species was formed after finding a nearly complete skeleton in 1887. But the scientist used the bones of several individuals found together for reconstruction. Therefore, Stegosaurus, late 19th century, had only one row of plates along the spine and four pairs of vertically arranged spines at the end of the tail. These stegosaurs are now depicted with two rows of dorsal plates that are staggered. They have only two pairs of tail spines. They were used for defense against predators. Found vertebra of Allosaurus with a hole from such spines suggest that Stegosaurus was not a defenseless victim and could stand up for itself. With a length of up to nine meters, a height of up to four meters, and a mass of up to four tons, the impact of a spiked tail could cause very serious injuries. Ankylosaurs. They are distant relatives of Stegosaurs and belong to the so-called shell dinosaurs. Stegosaurus is the largest of them. According to various estimates, it was up to seven or up to nine meters in length and up to six tons in weight. These dinosaurs inhabited the territory of North America and Canada about 66, 68 million years ago. The discoverer of this species was the famous explorer Barnum Brown. He discovered the first bones of Ankylosaurus in 1900 when excavating the remains of Tyrannosaurus. But to identify this species, as previously unstudied, he was able only in 1906 when he found the upper jaw several teeth and part of the shoulder girdle. Brown described this find in 1908. That's when he gave the species its name. It can be translated as a fused lizard. In 1910, the same scientist discovered the only preserved tail of Ankylosaurus from the head to the tip of the tail. This dinosaur was buried up close with bone armor. Some species had armor even on their chest and abdomen. No small danger to other dinosaurs was posed by the lizard's movable tail with a mace on the end. Scientists believe that for the movement of the tail was responsible for a pair of muscles located at its base. These muscles allowed dinosaurs to make a wide swing of their terrible weapon. Scientists have no doubt that Allosaurus used it for defense against predators. Not every hunter risked to attack a large, legal, and strong armor prey, which could break legs or ribs with the help of tail blows. Ceratopsians or horned lizards. These are one of the most recognizable varieties of herbivorous dinosaurs. The most popular one is the one that lived in the middle of the Cretaceous period in North America. This dinosaur appears in many cartoons and computer games about the age of dinosaurs. In them, this lizard with three horns often appears in the image of a dangerous and fiery hero who is able to defend himself even from such a dangerous predator like Rex. This is partly true because scientists often find fossilized bones with traces of claws and teeth of predatory theropods. In the 1970s and 19th century, researchers regularly came across Triceratops bones and horns, but they were attributed to extinct species of bison or other ungulates. 
In 1888, an almost completely preserved skull was found in Wyoming, which Charles Marsh described as a new species. He also gave it a name meaning three-horned head. One small horn was located on the nose, two longer ones above the eyes. The lizard was up to nine meters long and three meters tall. The mass of its body is estimated by scientists at six to 12 tons. After the discovery of the skulls of individuals of different ages, it became clear that the horns of Triceratops over time changed their orientation. In younger dinosaurs, they were bent backwards, and in adults, they were directed forward. Perhaps the horns served not only as weapons, they could be used in ritual fights or to attract the opposite sex. The length of paired horns could exceed one meter. Also among scientists, there are serious disputes about what speed could develop these animals. The structure of the shoulder blades and shoulder bones resembles similar bones of horses and rhinos. Also, some scientists believe that its legs were located under the body and not on the sides, as in other reptiles. With this body structure, the animal was able to develop greater speed. The impact of sharp horns from a run could be fatal to any predator. Pachycephalosaurs. In many Hollywood movies, dinosaurs from this family are shown as dangerous animals. Such an opinion was formed because of the bony growth on the head, surrounded by small horns. Disputes about its purpose are still conducted by scientists. Many are sure that such a helmet served to protect the brain, but it may well have served as an impact weapon. Discovered in the second half of the 19th century, fragments of the skulls of these dinosaurs were taken by scientists for the remains of the shell of reptiles or armadillos. Well-preserved turtles fell into the hands of researchers only in 1943. Then paleontologists Barnum Brown and Eric Marin gave it a name that means thick head and lizard. The most complete skeleton of this dinosaur was found in 1994. It contained more than half of all the bones of the animal. Now the maximum height of this dinosaur is estimated at 4.5 meters and a mass of 450 kilograms. Until 2007, such dinosaurs as Draco Rex and Stigmalacus were considered related to Pachycephalosaurus. Now most scientists are inclined to believe that they are Pachycephalosaurus in earlier stages of development. Interestingly, the lizard that walked on two legs is not a relative of ornithopods. In its structure, it was closer to ceratopsians, giant sauropods, the main weapon of Argentina Saurus ladox and others. Long-necked giants, which protected them from the attacks of any predators, was their size. Many of them exceeded the size of the most dangerous predators by several times. For example, the growth of Argentinosaurus could be up to 36 meters and the mass up to 80 tons. Diplodocus was 30 meters and 21 tons. Brontosaurus is 22 meters and 15 tons. Even just moving through the forest, they could have accidentally crushed smaller animals. Most likely, only young or sick individuals could have fallen victim to the predators. We thank the viewers who watched the video to the end. If you want to learn more about the most dangerous creatures of the era of dinosaurs, then we recommend you to pay attention to other materials on our channel.